Good morning. This is Father Stephen Kelly from St. John's Church in Detroit. We're continuing our series of daily morning meditations, where we generally look at one or another of the lessons that are assigned for morning or evening prayer, what is known as the daily office lectionary. Uh, and as, as promised yesterday and the day before, we are going to continue reading our lesson assigned for evening prayer from St. John's Gospel, which has to do with the great story of the raising from the dead of Lazarus. Uh, so the first day, two days ago, we talked about Jesus, talking about the theological implications that were coming up, that he had to go and do this and, and go to uh, Bethany. Uh, and when he announces this, Thomas says that great affirmation. He says, let us go with him. Go that we may die with him. Uh, and of course, that will eventually be true for all of the apostles. Yesterday, we heard about Martha when she heard that Jesus was coming, goes out to meet him. Uh, and she says, you know, if, I, if you had been here, I would have, my brother would have died. But I know whatever you ask God, God will do it. And, and Jesus says, I am the resurrection and the life, right? It's, it's in Jesus Christ that we have eternal life. And so it is, she, and she makes the affirmation that she believes that Jesus is in fact the Son of God, right? She's exactly right about that. So today we continue on ver chapter 11, verse number 28. And when she is so said, she went her way and called Mary, her sister, secretly, saying, The master's come and calleth for thee. As soon as she heard that, she arose quickly and came unto him. Now Jesus was not yet come into the town, but was in the place where Martha met him. The Jews, which were with her in the house and comforted her, when they saw Mary, that she rose up hastily and went out, followed her, saying, She goeth unto the grave to weep there. Then when G Mary was come where Jesus was and saw him, she fell down at his feet, saying unto him, Lord, if thou hadst been here, my brother had not died. When Jesus therefore saw her weeping, and the Jews also weeping which came with her, he groaned in the spirit and was troubled. And he said, Where have ye laid him? And they said unto him, Lord, come and see. Jesus wept. Then said the Jews, Behold, how he loved him. And some of them said, Could not this man which opened the eyes of the blind have caused that even this man should not have died? Then Jesus, therefore, again groaning in himself, came to the grave. It was a cave, and a stone was laid upon it. Jesus said, Take ye away the stone, Martha. The stone, Martha, the sister of him that was dead, saith unto him, Lord, by this time he stinketh, for he hath been dead four days. Jesus saith unto her, Said I not unto thee that if thou wouldest believe, thou shouldest see the glory of God? Then they took away the stone from the place where the dead was laid. And Jesus lifted up his eyes and said, Father, I thank thee that thou hast heard me. And I know that thou hearest me always. But because of the people which stand by, I said it, that they may believe that thou hast sent me. And when he had thus spoken, he cried with a loud voice, Lazarus, come forth. And he that was dead came forth, bound hand and foot with grave clothes, and his face was bound about with a napkin. Jesus saith unto them, Loose him and let him go. Wow. Okay, so... The story always really gets me. Uh, it's just to hear Jesus wept, right? The shortest line in the New Testament, probably the shortest line in the whole Bible. Jesus wept at the thought of the pain that Mary and Martha were going through. Right? Jesus knew the result. Jesus knew he'd rise from the dead. And yet he weeps with them as he does with us in our sorrow and our grief. He knows pain. He knows sorrow. He knows grief. And oh, I love the practicalness of Martha, right? Having already just proclaimed him the son of God, when he says, roll away the stone, she's like, it's going to stink. Dead bodies after four days stink. But faith, my friends, faith. And Jesus by command, and I've said this before when we went through John's gospel, Jesus has to call out Lazarus's name in that graveyard. Lazarus, come forth. Because if he'd have just proclaimed, come forth, Every person in that graveyard would have risen from the dead because he is the resurrection and the life. And at the end of time, we shall all rise from the grave, be reunited with our mortal bodies, with 
end will be with Jesus. But I love that last line in today's section. Unbind him and let him go. Take the grave clothes off. And that's exactly what Jesus has come to do for us. He has come to unbind us and let us go. We are bound by sin and freed by Jesus. All right, it's Friday. Friday and Lent, which means, of course, uh, today's a day of fast and abstinence, right? Uh, lesser portions of meals, maybe skipping a meal, assuming that your health allows for it, you're not on medication that requires it. Uh, and of course, we abstain today from flesh meat, right? No beef, chicken, pork. Uh, uh, we stay away from those things. Fish is generally allowed. You can eat vegetarian today. Uh, but uh, remember, today is a day in Lent, a Friday in Lent, in which we abstain from flesh meat. Uh, and of course, Sign up online, stjohnsdetroit.org, clickable link to sign up Genius for one of our weekend services. Uh, I hope you have yourself a fantastic Friday and may God bless you.